Okay, it is the Paladin's turn. The Paladin is level two, and it's going to start his turn. He's get, he gets three movement now. Uh, one glory and seven peril. Got a number of cards in his inventory and, and a, uh, what do we have here in his pack? Poltergeist. He's at full health and he's escorting the magician. But the first thing we need to do is go to our dungeon lord phase. And to spend anything, we need to take a look at the rogue's peril, which is three. Let's see what we have in our hand. Oh, we've got a dimensional shift card as well. A crypt bat. Let's see, why don't we spend peril for both of these? Uh, this dimensional shift might be particularly hateful to do <laughs> to the rogue right now. But let's, uh, let's bring out these two. That's going to cost a total of three uh, peril. So that's going to spend all of the rogue's peril. And then we resolve these in order. First is the bat. The bat will attack with a magical attack, uh, adding two to the die roll. That is a seven. Looking at the rogue, the rogue has no magic ability, but we are carrying around the brain of Zum, which gives us plus one. So we're going to roll the die and add one. Four. That is not enough to defeat the crypt bat. So this screech, this horrible noise from the crypt bat inflicts a wound on the rogue. So he goes down to four hit points. Now I can make the choice to make a counterattack. I do have a point of movement. The bat has a melee score of zero. Let's see how this works. Let's go ahead and spin that. That takes the rogue down to zero movement. And he's going to swing back only with a one point added to the die roll, which is a three now. So the bat's roll, which is going to be a zero, so it's whatever the die roll is. That's a six. Well, that failed. So I believe that uh, no damage is going to be done because, or, or is a point of damage done? Let me check. No, I believe that since the, um, the Crypt Bat has the higher total, I think the Rogue actually takes another point of damage. So that's two damage on the Rogue. And I believe that, uh, let's see, for each wound your monster inflicts on a hero, you get to assign one peril. So that's going to put two points of peril back on the rogue for those two points of damage that he took. So our rogue is uh, having a hard time. Well, this bat is unwounded and will go to the pack. I think you can have up to three monsters in your pack. Next, we have to resolve this dimensional shift. Let's take a look at it. It is an instant, and it says relocate target unoccupied dungeon map card to any legal location. You may also rotate it. Huh. That was a little different than what I thought it was going to do. Well, let's just uh, pick one, and we'll have to put it somewhere else where it's legal. Uh, that was a poor decision. I thought, I thought maybe I was uh, 
remembering the Wrath of a Shardalon game, I thought this was going to relocate the, the rogue somewhere else. So I should have read that more carefully. It's an unoccupied dungeon map card. So, that sort of uh, messes things up. Let's put this over here. And that was sort of a waste. And then we get rid of that. <clears throat> Alright, that is going to end the Dungeon Lord phase. We now move into the build phase where we draw a map card and place it. And I, I put the... Uh, I moved that card over there for the dimensional shift. We have a hallway. Uh, we can put that anywhere that is legal. Let's see. Um, I guess we can put that there. It's still going to be open. So the library. Where is the library? All of us need the library. Now we're into the uh, hero phase. Well, unfortunately, we don't have the library, so let's explore. Let's spend one of our movement points. We'll go down to two, and let's explore and draw another map card. Rats, corridor. Not what we needed. Let's just put that over here. And let's explore again. I'm going to go down to one and draw a map card. All right, here's the troll bridge. And that one will go for the global quest. This quest can be completed by either character, and they need to get to the uh, troll bridge to do that. Maybe let's put it down here in the middle. Alright, we've got one point of movement left. Let's, um, let's move. We're going to take the magician with us and move south. We've got to get through a trapped door. So let's roll the die. We've got a 3 plus 3 is 6, so no damage from the trap door. And we generate three peril and two glory for moving into the summoning chamber. Eight, nine, ten, and three. All right, that will do it. Uh, it's now time to discard a card. Why don't we get rid of the kitty? We'll get rid of the kitty and we'll draw three cards to bring us back up to a total of five. So we've got some new Dungeon Lord cards to play with. And that will end the Paladin's turn. Rogue is up next. <laughs>